Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life for Pets. So today I want to talk to you about a fish that is one of my absolute favorites and that is the Denison Barb, also known as the Roseline Shark or Redline Torpedo Barb. They do have other names as well, but they're usually the most common names that are in the industry. And the reason I wanna to talk to you about this fish is because it is actually endangered. And so many of you ask questions on the fish, where do we get it? How big does it get? Can it go in a 10 gallon tank? Can I just have one? And so I thought today that because this beautiful, beautiful fish is endangered it is important that they are kept correctly and also when buying them you really do need to know are they tank raised or are they wild caught because they are seriously in decline they are on the endangered list with the organization that sort of keeps records of those and i just think that it's important to know where your fish are coming from and in this case these have been endangered for a very very long long time so when buying them it's so so important to know that either they're tank raised or wild caught and obviously in this instance it is not good to be buying wild caught so before I get into tank size and diet, tank mates and all that sort of stuff, let me just give you a few basic details on these fish. They do originate from India and for the most part they are peaceful with other fish. However, if they are an only fish in the tank, then they are going to be quite a bully. They are a barb type of fish and so they do have that trait in them. They do get to about six inches in length and lifespan is about five to seven years typically if kept in the correct environment. So let's talk tank size. As you can see, this little one here is only about an inch and a half to two inches long. And that's typically the size that you would see them in the pet store. They don't usually have many because they're very difficult to get hold of and they are actually expensive to buy. But they grow up into five to six inch fish. They do need to be in groups of at least five, preferably more. And so a minimum tank size for these these fish is 55 gallons personally I do think a 75 or more is better and I also do think that a group of seven or more is better they do love to swim they are very fast swimmers and that is why you do need a big tank on camera it really doesn't show up just how big they are they are fairly deep bodied as well as obviously very long and unfortunately I just couldn't get any shots of sort of like the smaller ones against the bigger ones because it just doesn't seem to show on camera the remarkable difference so when buying these fish you do need to buy several at once and like I say you need the big tank and also to stop aggression in a tank that is why you need the larger numbers they are a peaceful fish they get on great with everything else in our tank the only thing that i will say is at feeding time it is a major feeding frenzy and so you do need fish that can hold their own in a tank when that is going on otherwise they will definitely be out competed for food so on talking about food, they will eat just about anything that you will put in the tank. We do feed a very wide variety of frozen foods. They will eat uh, frozen clams, bloodworms, brine shrimp, mysis shrimp. They will also eat pellets. They will eat algae wafers. They will eat live foods. I haven't found anything that these guys at this point won't eat. They eat rapashi gel food. They'll even eat the snail mix that we make as well. So they will eat just about anything that you put into the tank. They do need a wide variety and they do eat a lot. And that is obviously because they are a fairly large fish. I do absolutely love feeding these guys because I do love watching the frenzy 
that goes on when they actually eat they will sometimes squabble amongst themselves that is why you need the larger group because it's to spread out aggression it's a bit like with tiger barbs with tiger barbs you do need a fairly large group so that the aggression can be dispersed they're not aggressive to other fish in the tank however they will just spar off each other they do definitely have a pecking order i do find that when the lights are on they are very peaceful they're just swimming around like they are doing now but i do find that when i put the blue light on in the evening then that is when the aggression does seem to get a little worse and they will to start sparring with each other and very often they will actually hit the top of the tank they are huge jumpers and so you do need a tight fitting lid on a tank and that is when they start swimming around really fast and really crazy so if these are fish that you are thinking of adding to your tank please make sure that you do research before owning them they are a beautiful fish they are easy to keep they do need large tanks they need a varied diet they do need to be in large groups and also please please check that you know that you're buying tank raised and they're not being pulled from the wild where they are declining very quickly all right guys thanks for watching i hope this video was helpful if you're not subscribed to this channel and would like to see more videos like this then go ahead and do so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time